American Revolution. A miniseries starring all your friends from Sesame Street telling the story of how the United States of America was born. More or less. Today's episode of the American Revolution will be about Thomas Jefferson, who wrote the Declaration no. of Independence after John Adams and Benjamin Franklin gave him some help. We take you now to Thomas Jefferson in his study. Hmm. You see, I, I must write the Declaration of Independence. And since this is 1776, I need a quill, because that's what we write with. Quills, like I have in my hand. Ah, I'll just dip it here in the inkwell. Fine, and now to begin. Um, oh no, uh, I broke my quill. I broke my quill. I cannot write the Declaration of Independence without my quill. Oh, I'll never be able to write the Declaration of Independence. Never, never. Oh. Uh, Mr. Jefferson, oh. sir, oh. how is it going with the Declaration of Independence, sir? Terrible. Oh. I broke my quill. Oh, no. I can't write the Declaration of Independence without my quill. Oh. I need a quill, Mr. Grover. I need a quill. Of course you do, sir. Have oh. no fear. Mr. Grover shall get you one now. Oh, I'll never write without a quill. Never. Never. Mr. Oh. Jefferson? Mr. Jefferson? Oh. Uh, sir, here you are, sir. Just what you asked for. A drill. Drill? Sir, yes. Drill? Yes. I didn't say drill. I no? said quill. Quill! Well, I, 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 yes, yes, sir. I, I just thought you said drill. No, I did not. I said no? quill. Oh. oh, it's true. Drill rhymes with quill. Yes. They, they, they sound the same, but, yes. but I didn't say drill. Yes. I said quill. Sir, I need yes. a quill. Yes, yes, sir. Well, I can understand how emotional you can get about this. Oh. I, I will be back, sir, with the, oh. whatever the quill. I'll never write the Declaration of Independence without a quill. Never. Never. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, Mr. <laughs> Jefferson! Hmm? Here we are, sir. Here we are. Just for you, as you asked. A chicken? Mm-hmm. A chicken? Yes, sir. Right here. You brought me a chicken? That I did. How could you have made a mistake like that? Chicken doesn't even rhyme with quill. Chicken doesn't even sound like quill. No, but sir, sir, this chicken's name is Phil. And Phil does rhyme with quill. A Phil, Tom, Tom, Phil. Yes, well, how do you... No, 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 get, get that chicken out of here. I can't write with a chicken. Yes, sir, I, I am just a humble colonist doing my best, sir. Come on, let's go. No, don't fight, please. Sorry, sir, please. Oh, I'll never write the Declaration of Independence. Never. Ne What's this? Why, why, it's one of Phil's feathers. What luck! A quill! For after all, a quill is nothing but a feather! Oh, I shall be able to write the Declaration of Independence after all! <laughs> Mr. Grover! Uh, yes, Mr. Sir. Grover! Yes sir. yes, sir! Yes, sir! Thank you! Thank you! I shall be able to write the Declaration of Independence after all! Well, no, no need to thank me, sir! Thank Phil! Why, thank you, Phil! <laughs> he says you're welcome! Uh, now, let me see... Ah, uh, you can do um, right! Yes! Oh, good! Um, <clears throat> dip into the inkwell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you starting this? Um, once upon a time. Um, could, could we, could I offer a suggestion? Why, Actually, certainly. It's Phil's idea. What was it? <laughs> All right. When in the course of human events... <gasps> By George the Third, you've got it! <laughs> when? And so, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence, which declared the original 13 colonies to be free from England. <laughs>